Hi everyone, welcome back to Zara Confati's Vision. So we just found our eyes. Okay, my views, Matt's prep and fine. And now we're going to apply pink and pink on the top, just on our eyes. Taking my this palette here and I'm using the Manila Paper eyeshadow, which is that one. We're just going to start by applying it to the inner corner of the eye. We're going to be taking um, Max, uh, the palette, same palette again, but we're going to be using Aztec Gold here, and we're going to be applying it right up until. We're going to be using this Wendy Paint Pot here. It's number 15. If you can't find these, it is um, this kind of colour. Try and put that as close as I can. It's lovely. We're just going to be placing that on the outer corners. Now taking that same colour, we're going to be using a pencil brush. Put that next to my skin. You can see the shape of that. Very similar to a pencil. And we're going to be applying the colour onto the brush and putting it in our pencil. You want to take a small amount of Aztec Gold on the brush, you can see it there, and we're going to apply it just on the inner side, in the corners. Now that the main colours on the eyelid have been put on, we're going to be looking at putting the highlighter on, and I'm going to be using um, a different brand today. It is by Collection 2000, which it says on the top of the lid here, and it's Dazzle Me. The number I'm using is um, Magical 2, just turn that so you can see it, Magical 2, and it's a lovely gold colour just to be placed on the brow area, highlight area. Taking a small amount on the brush. Using the blending brush we're going to blend all the colours just not all together, but making sure there's no um, definite line. Now everything's been blended, we're going to be applying our eyeliner. You're getting um, a little line here. I'm going to be fine. So you've got ink coming in. I like to start in the middle. We're now going to create a nice smoke around our eyes in our creases, just on the corners, and that will make the bridal eyes stand out. We're going to be using Barry M and um, Fine Glitter Dust. It's a black and gold. Um, the number here is 22. It's a lovely colour to create that smoke, but also keep the glitter aspect inside. So that's the kind of gold it is. Take a little small amount, this is the kind of brush I'm going to be using, it's got a, 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 a straight tip and just that's just to get pack, compact the colour onto the eye and we'll be able to blend it outwards. See that's slowly starting to come on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change my brush. I'm going to go back to my pencil brush, which I'm going to use. A small pencil brush, that's right. Taking eyeshadow onto the brush. I'm going to be taking the same Collection 2000 um, Dazzle Dust that we used before, and I'm going to be placing it just on the inner corners, but on the un and underneath. So if we take this. And just dab it on. See a little hint. It's 
steak thunder. If you find it's not sticking as much as you wanted it to, place a little bit of Paint Lily paint pot just underneath before you apply this and put this on top and it will stick a lot better. Actually let me take one, I'm going to take this bit off and I'm going to put some paint with you on and show you the different effect. You've got a little bit of paint paint pot on the brush and a thin line where you want gold to go. Now straight up with that, apply gold. See how much brighter it is to this side. I'll be doing this on the side. I'm just going to go straight over what we've done before with the paint really paint pot. Just blending it out with a knife, use my finger. You don't have to do that. Just feel like I've put a bit of excess on. Back with the gold. And straight on top. Now that's done, we're going to be going to use our gel eyeliner for our waterline. So we're using Black Track by MAC. Just putting the gel eyeliner in our waterline. frame our eyebrows now, I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna be using um, another palette here by MAC and I'll be using this colour here, it's called Dark Edge. I'm just gonna be filling out the main gaps that I have, just taking a small amount on an angled brush, you can see that there, and starting to fill them out. our foundation, I'm just going to take a big fan brush and brush away any excess that's fallen onto the face, especially from the black that we're using, the dark colours, because we don't want them blending in with our foundation. Before we apply our foundation, we're going to be using a MAC Prep and Prime. This is excellent for brides, as it has a little glitter in it. Um, it's called Skin Base Visage. It's good to apply underneath your foundation, as it helps it to stay longer, fills in any creases, any lines, anything that you want to hide. So I'm going to be putting that first on top. Oh, underneath. Just a small amount to the back of your hand. You can apply this with your finger or you can apply it with a brush. I'm going to be using a brush today. Just putting it onto your face. I'm going to be using MAC, it's the Studio Fix Fluid and it's in NC42. I find this warms up my skin colour, just taking a small amount onto the back of my hand. I like to start in the middle and work my way outwards. I've done our eyebrows pre before we apply foundation, just be careful not to smudge them. If you do, you can, you can just re um, touch up on the eyebrows. go over a little bit on the areas that I wish to add a second coat to give it full coverage instead of medium. Okay, 
So now time to powder. I'm going to be using, not my usual palette today, but I'm taking a MAC powder here, pressed powder, and it's an NC30. I know it's a lot lighter than my usual my foundation, but I can't really tell. It, it just, I don't know, it just powders up my foundation brilliantly. Oh, no, I don't want to powder And then if you have um, the foundation on it, you can also powder on it. I'm going to be using my um, contour palette here. To show you which colour I'm going to be using this one here. Just to contour our cheeks and make us look naturally thin. Or smaller face. Okay, so the best way to do is suck your cheeks in. We're doing a, a three shape. So it's starting here at our temple, coming down to the jaw, just underneath the jawline and coming jawline, just doing cheekbone onto the jawline. So we've got a little bit on the brush. Starting from the temple, down, onto the jawline. I'm going to be taking a smaller brush here and contouring the nose. I've actually got some dark contour and powder on the brush. I'm going to be pushing on this one. And now on the other. The idea is if you have a large nose or you wish to make your nose just look a little bit thinner. It's now time to put our blush on. I'm going to be using this one by MAC. See the colour there, it's absolutely luscious. Um, the name is Plum Du Bois. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I said that wrong. There we go. Mm, if you can read that, I'm not sure. But it is a frost blusher. It's got a little hint of gold. I'm going to take a blusher brush by a small amount and smile. Using highlighter by MAC, um, it's the golden bronze. Just taking a small amount on our brush. What I'm going to do is use the amount I've got on the lid, and that will be enough, more than enough. Tapping off the excess, working from our temple, just above where you've applied the blush. To be given that shine, just where we want it. We're going to line our lips with this MAC um, lip pencil. It is the colour of spice. Pull that up. Not sure you can see that. The colour of spice. I'm just going to line our lips. Taking our Honey Love lipstick, this colour here, taking quite a generous amount on our lip brush and applying it to our lip. So the bridal look is now complete. If you do wish um, to put Concealer, you can put concealer underneath the eye. I haven't done that as I put a full coverage foundation on and I just didn't feel like I needed to put that on. But if you do need to firm concealer, do put it on just um, before you apply your powder.